everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is Lake Kate here, and in today's video, we're gonna be doing a short tutorial on how to change the background of Blender. As you can see in this blend I have opened up right here, the background is kind of colored and it's not gray. Now, whenever you first download a Blender, you will have a gray background no matter what. And I will be showing you guys today how to change that to kind of look like what I have here or any other color you guys want. It's pretty simple, but a lot of people don't know what to do or how to do it. So I thought today I would might as well just do it and help you guys out. So with all that said, make sure to subscribe if you guys have it to become late potatoes because late potatoes are pro potatoes. And also subscribe if you guys haven't already. We're close to 8,000 subscribers and that is just very appreciated and I think we could get there in maybe a month or so. It all depends. But yeah, let's go ahead and get right into the video. So I reset the background of purposes of this video to show you exactly how I did it so then nothing is really messed up. So what you want to do is obviously you want to open Blender. You can have it just opened, it doesn't matter. You want to go all the way up here where these little bubbles are and hit this little down button. And you can be on any of these by the way, I'm pretty sure. And then you go to this little settings bar which is right here and this will pop up. So what you want to do is you want to go to themes and after you hit themes you want to click on 3D viewpoint. Now it's going to show all the colors and stuff like this. This is basically where you're going to be coloring and I'm going to show you exactly what you're going to be coloring and stuff like that. So I made sure to turn my grid on by the way just so I can show you guys. So this is the grid. If you want to ever change the grid for some reason, say you want it white then you can just turn it white. But if you want it black or something you can also do that which is what I did here. And the other ones are not really important. But other than all that, I really don't touch anything else up here. All you want to do is scroll down all the way. Let me just close all of these real quick. I'm pretty sure I did. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to hit theme space, which will be closed, but you can open it right here. None of this you really want to touch. And then there's going to be gradient colors and panel colors. You want to hit gradient colors. And this is where you're able to color the background. So as you can see, the gradient is this color right here. So what you want to do is you want to go to the gradient and you basically want to select any color that you want. See, I'm going to just go with a light a blue because that's what I kind of do. Um, and also, I just like that color for some reason. Now this one doesn't really do much, but if you do want a, a single color, then just keep it single. If you want this line variant, then this is what this guy is for. Like you could just have it like this. And if you put it as this one, it's going to be like the secondary colors on the outside. If you do single color, it's just going to be the very first primary color. If you do this one, it's going to be kind of like the bottom is glowing instead. I kind of like this one because whenever I go to showcase, for example, one of my models, let me go ahead and just click this guy. So as you can see here, one of the models I have, I kind of have this little circle around it, which is what I was just was showing you guys. And it gives more of a depth for the creature. Um, that I'm showing and people normally like colorful black backgrounds not just plain on colors so if you have a singular color that's fine but if you have one like this I feel like it'd pop out more and also be very calming when you are modeling as well but yeah that's kind of all we have for this because it's just a simple tutorial and I know some of you probably don't know or do know or just don't know have a clue what to even do so I hope you guys did enjoy today's video and I hope this little short tutorial helped you guys if you were having trouble trying to change the background and and I feel like this is also a very major thing if you're trying to showcase models because color can be very important in the background. If it's just a gray color, it might not be appealing to someone's eye. But if it has a color like this, for example, or something else, a lot of people have a tendency to like that kind of color and it will pop out more to them. But yeah, that's all I have for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!